this top makes me look like a 70s librarian. It's a vibe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. There is not a lot that I will leave the house for when it is minus four degrees outside and a legit snowstorm. In fact, there's not a lot that I will leave the house for on a normal daily basis. Apart from snacks, obviously. But yesterday I left my dressing gown behind. My most serious relationship is with my dressing gown. I risked pneumonia, frostbite, probably some other hideous life-threatening diseases in the freezing cold and headed out in the snow, all for the sake of going to Primark. Good life decisions by me as usual. So I figured to make the pneumonia worthwhile, I would show you everything I bought today and do a good old fashioned Primark call. If you are new to my channel, hey, I'm Lucy. Um, I tend to do these maybe once a month on my channel these days, uh, which is terrible news for my bank account, but great news if you like to see what's in Primark at the moment. So make sure you're subscribed if that sounds like something that's up your street. If you enjoy this video, then please do give it a little thumbs up. And on that note, let's get stuck in with my March Primark call. Happy March, by the way. Literally, where is 2018 going? I probably didn't get as much as I normally tend to pick up. I normally tend to go a little bit crazy. Uh, but this time I was slightly more subdued, mainly for the fact that all of the summer stuff is in Primark right now. Come on Primark, I'm still clinging on to cozy jumpers and fluffy slippers while I can. I don't wanna be thinking about bikinis yet. That's not something that I need in my life right now. Anyway, I'm starting with homeware and the first thing I picked up by some miracle was actually the thing that I went in for. That never happens. I'm still buzzing about this. I'm so excited about it. Um, but this is Primark's version of the very Instagrammable letterboards. It is A4 sized. It comes in a nice little copper frame and it also, includes 292 letters which is very specific a little bit strange this was a grand total of six pounds yes so this is definitely purchase of the day absolutely love it i'm so pleased that primark are now like hopping on the hype of making all the cool things but in a cheap way and i can't wait to fill this with quotes from the simpsons and harry potter sophisticated adult decor the other thing i picked up from the homeware section this time was another cushion because if there's anything this flat needs more of, it's cushions. I grabbed this little cream coloured rectangle cushion. Um, I'm not convinced by the sequins. I might pull the sequins off. I'm not really a sequin kind of person. But what I do love is all the like textured detail on it. It reminds me of cushions that you get in like Anthropology, Oliver Bonus, which literally cost more than your average mortgage. I've wanted one like this for ages, but again, just could not bring myself to spend like over 50 pounds on one cushion. It's just not. It's not real life. I really like the like braided detail. It's got little tassels here. It's got like stripes of texture going across and then the rest is just like a canvasy kind of material. So it's quite neutral, but I thought for eight pounds, this would do the job pretty nicely for us. Most of the clothing in Tottenham Court Road Primark is already like off the shoulder beach dresses and like little skirts and summery bodysuits and play suits. It's friggin' snowing outside. I wasn't really in the mood to like shop for the beach when it's blowing a friggin' hoolie outside. Um, so instead I stuck to some pretty simple basics, but I really like them. There were a couple of t-shirts in Topshop recently, which were like Whitney Houston designs, and I loved them so much, but missed the boat, obviously. Didn't see them till they'd all sold out. Well done, mate. Once I saw they were sold out, I never really got over it until yesterday when I saw this. So Primark have basically done their own version and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This kind of like 80s font is my kind of perfect t-shirt. I love the like bright neon pink color. It's kind of like a flocked material. Um, so it looks a little bit more expensive than it would do if it was just printed. And then there's just a few Whitney's down here looking absolutely gorge down at the bottom. I'll be honest, it's not quite as gorgeous as the Topshop version, but I think I paid, what was this? I paid eight quid for this. And I think the Topshop one was 25 pounds. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong, can you? I literally cannot wait to wear this. I bought it quite oversized. I think I sized up three sizes in the end so that I could have it like super baggy, roll the sleeves up, tuck it into some mom jeans, big belt, amazing. And speaking of oversized 80s vibes, because that's all I ever wear. And one day I really need to buy some clothes that actually fit me. I also picked up this. If you saw my last Primark call from February, you might remember a bright yellow jumper that I bought. I wasn't sure if it was ridiculous, but loads of you guys said you liked it. So thanks for the validation. I really need it. I decided to pick it up in another color because that's what my version of fashion is. It is exactly the same sweatshirt, but this time I picked it up in this awesome pastel blue lilac-y kind of color. Classic crew neck sweatshirt 
full long sleeve, which I will probably roll the sleeves up on. Um, but my favorite thing about this jumper is that it has like a cut off hem. It's super, super soft, so comfy, really slouchy, kind of effortless, my favorite kind of thing. And the best thing about this jumper is that it is a grand total of five pounds and I just love it so much. Next, I actually picked up some stationery, which I definitely didn't need, but I'm really glad I bought in the end because they are so cute. First of all, which was probably actually quite a sensible purchase, but they're also very pretty. Um, I picked up this clip set very exciting. This little tub was £2.50 and inside you get a set of gold drawing pins, a mixture of pale pink and gold paper clips, gold bulldog clips and then some giant paper clips as well just in case the small ones don't float your boat. Hey it's a very sensible grown-up purchase. The fact that it's baby pink is just a small detail. And then I also grabbed two notebooks which I definitely did not need but what does need even mean anymore? First one I grabbed was this, which is like a hard cover, but it's got like a really satisfying matte finish to the cover, which I like. Um, it says life goals in gold metallic on the front and then on the bottom it says I can do anything. It's also got gold metallic edging, which I think is a really nice detail. And the other one I bought is definitely ridiculous, but no regrets because it's also great. I felt like my 10 year old self would have wanted it so much that it was only fair to buy it. So for three pounds, I got myself like a gel cover, peach glitter notebook that says dreamer. I just thought this was like weirdly cute, although also kind of hideous, literally me. Anyone who's been to Tottenham Court Road Primark knows that the best part is the Harry Potter section, obviously. Definitely not as good as last time's fat lady socks, um, but I picked up some more Potter socks because <laughs> Why not? These are quite like subtle potter, which is my favorite kind of potter merchandise. Um, so these are just little embroidered ones. This probably sounds really lame, but I just thought these could be like actual Hogwarts socks. That's my favorite thing about Harry Potter merchandise is when it looks like something they would have actually worn at Hogwarts rather than something you'd wear as a Harry Potter fan. Is that really embarrassing? Yeah, it definitely is. So on this burgundy pair, you get a little embroidered Nimbus 2000 and then it says Quidditch at Hogwarts. Then the beige pair have the little keeper hoops at the top. And then last but not least, the navy pair have a little golden snitch embroidered at the top. I just love a bit of subtle potter. Can't go wrong. I also quite fancied some new pyjamas this time around, which is literally not news to anyone who's seen my Primark hauls before. And the reason I picked these ones up was because I actually loved the bottoms, which I think is kind of unusual for pyjamas. Normally it's the top, which I'm like, oh my God, I love that. And then I end up buying the matching bits. So it was the little shorts that I spotted first, which I was like, I'm gonna need them. I'm kind of annoyed that it's green for Slytherin because I'm not a Slytherin, I'm a Gryffindor. But I think they're really cute anyway and I don't think it's too Slytherin. I think they just look quite nice. So they have this little emerald green bow on the top, which I think is really pretty. They're made of this like super soft fleecy material. And then I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but it also has the little green Hogwarts crest embroidered on the pocket with some little metallic gold stars. The top was 10 pounds. Now that I think about it, 15 pounds for a pair of pajamas is probably more than I should be spending. Whoops. I kind of like that it's quite minimal uh, and it's just got a classic quote on it. It says, I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. It's got the cute little metallic stars on it. Um, the little Harry Potter logo at the bottom there. Oh my God, I've just noticed the cutest little bit of detail on this, which makes this infinitely better. Along the inside of the neck, there's then this little bit of detail here which says property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. But then I've also just noticed, this is so cute. The little name tag at the top says H Potter. <gasps> I love that. Okay, well that's just made these the greatest pajamas of all time. Well, who knew all I needed was a Harry Potter name tag sewn in the inside and I'll buy anything. And the last little bit of Harry Potter stuff I bought was silly. I was hungry when I was going around Primark. I shouldn't have bought these because they were so expensive. <laughs> um, I bought some jelly slugs. They're, they're the proper Harry Potter ones though. So should I try one? Should we do, should we do a taste test right now? Alas, earwax. No, I'm kidding. I think it's cherry. Actually, when I was paying for these, I just remembered the guy behind the till was like, you do realize these are three pounds. I was like, Yep, I feel like I'm an absolute mug for paying three pound for jelly slugs, but hey, JK Rowling, thank me later. Okay, I feel like either the jelly slugs or this next thing win the award for most ill thought out purchase of the day. I bought, I bought a beret and I feel like this is gonna make me look really silly. I didn't try it on before I bought it. It was four pounds. How do you even wear a beret? 
not like this. All right, governor. Does it sit on the back of your head like this? I feel like it's not supposed to look like that. No. Is it like this? Like... I don't... Um, I don't... I don't think I'm a berry wearer. <laughs> I don't think this is the one for me, is it? I really... I really don't think I can... Uh, don't think I can pull this one off. Oh, I just want to look like a cute French girl who buys fresh baguettes every morning. If I figure out how to do this, then I'll let you know. But other than that, I think this might be the one thing that I need to return because... All right, one last go. I can't even think how they're supposed to look, but I can guarantee it's not this. Right, we're moving on. <laughs> a couple of really boring things, but hey, they're useful and it's bloody freezing outside. So I bought some new tights. If you really want to know, all of the black tights that are sitting in my drawer at the moment are either really bobbly, so it looks like I've got some kind of hideous skin disease, or they're too small. So after about an hour, the crotch ends up by my ankles, which is a great look. So it says they keep you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm, but I mean, unless these have got a tiny robot inside, I don't know how that's gonna work. They're black tights, they feel nice. I'm sure they'll be fine. And the other kind of boring but very useful thing that I bought, which I think is probably worth showing you because it's so handy, um, is a new set of three bras, mainly because all of my bras are verging on disgusting. All of the white ones are now like a delightful shade of gray. All of the straps have lost all strappiness, so they just kind of hang. So I just grabbed this little trio of pastel colored ones, which I thought were quite cute. Um, it was eight pounds for the three. Um, and in this little set, you get this nice little pale pink one, and then two very plain light blue and purple ones. Uh, just really simple t-shirt bras, not very exciting. And last but not least, I checked out the beauty section. Thought about buying their like whole new nude collection. It's basically their version of the Kim Kardashian makeup but it's quite expensive. The only thing that I did pick up from that collection, it's all like really nice. It looks lovely. The lipsticks in particular look lovely. Um, the only thing I picked up was a new eyelash curler. This was £1.50. Primark eyelash curlers, if you've never used them, are really good. Even though you kind of live in fear that it's gonna slice your eyelashes in half one morning, I feel like I feel like that about all eyelash curlers because they're just a bit terrifying. They're a nice rose gold colour. They've got like nude pink handles and the little pad is also nude pink coloured. And you get a spare pad as well, which is pretty handy. And the last thing I picked up to finish on a really boring note. Sorry about that. Should have organised this better. Should have finished on the jelly slugs. I bought some eyeshadow primer from the normal Primark makeup range. Uh, this was only £2. I actually used this to put this eyeshadow on and so far I think it's doing a good job. I thought it felt quite silicony. It felt very similar to that kind of like Benefit Professional kind of texture. My eyeshadow seems to have stayed in place. Believe it or not, this was how I actually intended for it to look. It was quite a misjudged eyeshadow look really, wasn't it? We won't do this one again. And there we go. That is everything that I picked up from Primark this time. Sorry it wasn't quite as enormous as usual. Maybe I had a little bit more self-control this time. Actually, the packet of jelly slugs would probably say otherwise. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please chuck a little thumbs up my way. I would really appreciate it. As always, let's have a chat down in the comments below as well. I try my best to reply to every single comment I ever get. So if you fancy a chat, then get in touch down below. I always like to hear what you guys think of everything that I've bought. So let me know what your favorite thing was that I bought this time. If you're gonna head to Primark and pick up any of it for yourself. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Lucy Jane Wood. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. And I'm gonna finish by trying another jelly slug because why not? They're really not very nice, but I am inevitably gonna eat this whole bag anyway. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.